Hello, I'm Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to make a cosmetic makeup bag. So let's take a look. Okay, as you can see, I've got two different colors on the outside of the bag, a deep navy blue at the bottom and this multicolored zigzag stripe around the top. It also has a zipper at the very top of the bag and this bag is also lined. Now if you're a beginner, if you've never sewn anything before, the zipper might be a little challenging, but feel free to go ahead and try it, okay? All right, so let's go over what you're gonna need to make this cosmetic bag. The, uh, you're gonna need approximately a quarter of a yard of each of the following fabrics or you can use fat quarter fabrics. So you're gonna need two different colors for the outside of the bag and then one color for the lining. The inner facing, you're gonna need about a third of a yard of uh, iron-on interfacing and then one nine inch zipper. All right, now let me show you how to make your own pattern. This is really easy. The finished size of this pattern is approximately nine and a half by seven or nine by seven. It all depends on how big your seams are. Okay, now for the top of the bag, you can draw a rectangle that is ten and a half by four and a half and mark on it that it's the top and you're going to need to cut two pieces. So write that on your pattern piece. Now, for the bottom of the bag, I'm going to show you how to cut out a shape that looks like this and it's really, really easy. Okay, so draw a rectangle that is ten and a half by six and a half. Mark on that piece that it's the bottom of the bag. And by the way, on all seam allowances, you're gonna use a 3 8 of an inch. So go ahead and write that on the outside of your pattern. And you're gonna need two. Now I'm gonna show you how to do these little corners here. Take a ruler and put the two inch marker on the outside lines here and there, okay? Then take a pen or pencil and draw a line here and here. Then draw an X through each side here, because this is not part of the bag, so you're not gonna use this as your cutting line. Then go over to the opposite corner and do the same thing. Place your two inch line on the outside lines, draw a line here and there, and then just draw little X's through here so that you know this is not the cutting part of the pattern. And as I said, when you're done, it should look like this, okay? This shape. All right, great. Now we're gonna cut out or make a pattern for the lining. Almost just like the piece you just did, except you're gonna draw a square, 10 and a half by 10 and a half. You're gonna use this pattern for the lining and the interfacing. Again, mark on it 3 eighths of an inch seam and you will cut out two. Then, again, repeat that process of putting the two inch markers on each corner, draw a line here and there, put little X's there, go over to the opposite corner and repeat it, okay? And now you have your pattern for your cosmetic bag. Real easy. All right, so now let's put the bag together. So take your pieces for the outside of the bag, bring right sides together okay and pin up here on the top piece here and stitch 3 8 of an inch from this raw edge here go in 3 8 of an inch stitch all the way across do that on both the front and back of the bag then open it up and press this seam open then take your iron-on interfacing and follow the directions on the package for how to put that on. It's a really easy process. Do that on both sections, the front and back of the two pieces that go on the outside of the bag. Okay? All right. Now, after you have your interfacing put on, 
you're going to do some top stitching along that seam line. So you're going to stitch a little less than an eighth of an inch from the seam all the way across and then come on the other side here and do the same thing. Do that on both sections of the bag. Okay? All right, now take your zipper and your one of your uh, sections of the bag. Okay? And let me find my zipper here. Here it is. Okay, now place the zipper. Here's the front side of the zipper. Place it face down and place it on the edge up here. Now take one of your lining pieces. Here is the front side of my lining. I'm going to place this side face down on top of the zipper. And again, line it up across here. Go ahead and pin it all down. Then for this next step, you will need a zipper foot. Your zipper foot might look something like this or it might not, but whatever foot you have should have a straight edge right across here. Okay? When you use your zipper foot, you're going to be, here's the zipper teeth. You're going to be putting this zipper foot near the edge of the teeth and stitch along. Okay? Now, because you've got the lining covering up the teeth, you will be able to see a raised area here. So don't worry about that. And you're just going to go ahead and stitch along here. Now, don't stitch too close to the zipper. You're going to go in about 3 eighths of an inch from the raw edge up here. If you have a sewing machine in which you can move your needle left or right, don't move the needle left or right. Leave it in the center mark. You can see that there's a red line on my uh, zipper foot. Leave your needle in that center mark and then you won't stitch too close to the zipper. Okay? So stitch all the way across. Then when you're done with that, you're going to bring the lining and the uh, outside part of the bag, bring those two sides together. All right, right side, wrong sides together. Now it should look like this. Here's your zipper sticking out here. Now you're going to do some top stitching along here. You're going to start where the end of the zipper is, not here at the edge. Start right there and go close to the fold line and stitch all the way across. And stop here at the end of the zipper. Do not go all the way across to the very edge of the fabric. And before you do this top stitching, do a finger pressing here, okay? And a finger pressing here. Don't use your iron because you might melt your zipper if you get too close. Okay, now take your next section, okay? Here it is. Now take your zipper. Here's the right side of the zipper. Put it face down on the next section. And you're going to repeat all of the steps again for the other side of the bag. Take your lining, lay it right side down, face down, line it all up, then stitch along here about 3 eighths of an inch in. Remember, don't get too close to the zipper teeth. Then open everything up and repeat the process of doing this top stitching on the other side. Okay? Alrighty, now, before you go on to this next step, open the zipper. I made one of these once where I forgot to open the zipper and when I went to turn the bag right side out, I couldn't turn it right side out because all the seams were sealed up. So open the zipper. Alright, now bring both pieces of lining right sides together and bring the other part of the bag, the outside of the bag, bring all of that together. Okay, now at the end of the lining you're going to stitch a little bit on each side. So come in 3 eighths of an inch from this raw edge, come in, and then from this edge go in about 1 inch. 
do a few stitches back and forth to secure it because when you reach inside this hole later you try to pull that rest of the bag through you might pull this apart and then do the same thing over on this side about one inch okay then at the other end you're going to seal it all the way across so three eighths of an inch seam stitch all the way across okay now on the sides here you're going to stitch three eighths of an inch all the way the full length okay now after you do that on all of your corners these little odd shaped corners here we're now going to stitch these so open it up and pull it apart line up your seams okay line them up open the seam well let me see if I can get it open here open your seams and match them okay let me show you the other side so you can see what I mean see how I've got my seam open here and I've got it open there okay now pin it and stitch again 3 8 of an inch you're going to do this on both corners of the lining and both corners of the fabric on the outside of the bag okay so all four corners all right now you're going to reach inside this lining hole at the end here reach all the way through go all the way to the end of the bag scrunch up the end of the bag and begin working it through this hole okay so when you're done it's going to look like this your lining is now pulled out now we're going to seal up the hole at the end of the lining so here's where my hole was fold those ends or that opening in 3 8 of an inch bring both sides together and stitch real close along here to seal up the bag then when you're done with that you are really done with the bag go ahead and push your lining in okay and when you're done it should look like that okay now in my previous video I showed or demonstrated how to make this personal tissue cover so this is a nice little gift set to give somebody now in the next video I'm going to show you how to make the matching tote bag and it has three pockets in the front and three pockets in the back okay again it makes a nice little gift set well I hope that this was helpful and I hope you try to do this uh, particular project now to keep informed on all my future videos click on one of my subscribe buttons there's been one down there in the lower right hand corner that's red it says subscribe click on that one at any time or towards the end of the video you might see a picture of me floating up in the left hand corner that's also a subscribe button once you click on that YouTube will prompt you for your email address enter that information and the next time I have a new video YouTube sends you a very brief email with a big button in the center click on that button and it takes you directly to my latest video I'm Cheryl I'm really glad you came to my sewing room see you next time and happy sewing